Um, hello guys, um, I'm Bowen and I'm a software engineer working on um, the PyTorch Onyx converter at Microsoft. So um, today I'm going to give a brief overview of the converter, um, basically what it is, what it does, how it does it, um, some interesting features and the future roadmap. Okay, so here's the uh, like brief overview of the architecture and flow of the converter. So um, I think throughout the, slide, uh, throughout the talk, I will use the word export and convert interchangeably. The um, converter lives inside PyTorch. Um, it's part of the PyTorch package. Its source code is in the PyTorch repository under GitHub. So to start, um, you have a PyTorch model. You have some sample input, and together you pass it to the Torch Onyx export API. Um, the first step, we utilize the Torch tracer and Torch script to convert the PyTorch model to um, the Torch intermediate representation, or what we call Torch IR. So the second step, um, the exporter takes the Torch IR and through various passes and graph optimizations, Convert it to Onyx IR. And um, as a final step, it serializes it to the Onyx model in a protobuf file. So, um, yeah, in this talk, I'll try to uh, not get into every uh, tiny bit of detail. Um, however, in the footnote, there's always links to uh, more information and um, documents. So, yeah, feel free to check it out if you're interested in uh, certain topics. Okay. So let's start with a very simple and basic example of, uh, so this is how it looks like uh, to export an AlexNet. Um, a single call to the export API, and you can use the Netron tool to uh, visualize the Onyx model. So the arguments in the box are optional, um, but you can provide them if you want to export your model with um, dynamic, dynamic uh, input and output shapes. Okay. So let's uh, move on to some of the uh, interesting features of uh, the converter. Um, so first is quantization. Um, recently, we added support for exporting a quantized model. Um, the uh, quantized operators will be exported in QDQ format. So if like supported by backend, it can be uh, fused and run as a quantized operator at runtime. Stability. Um, people can write models with the Python control flow, the loops and ifs, and these are captured in Onyx model as the Onyx loop and Onyx if nodes, um, together with a composition of other nodes as their subgraph. So one of such example is the export of the autoregressive transformer model. Um, it can capture the entire um, beam search and or like a greedy search algorithm inside a single model. And of course, there's uh, other ways to do that. Um, for instance, if uh, uh, in some cases you might already have a, speci a specified kernel um, in your favorite backend, and in this case, you might want to capture a subgraph of the PyTorch model as a single Onyx node in the Onyx model. So uh, this is when like the custom ops come in. Um, there are various ways to uh, export as custom ops. You can write a custom uh, torch autograph function and define the forward and backward routine in the static method, forward and backward, uh, respectively. Um, there is additional static method symbolic, which basically tells the exporter how this uh, custom function uh, should look like in the uh, exported Onyx graph. Um, another scenario would be that you already have a pretty well-defined PyTorch operator, um, be it a custom PyTorch operator or a standard PyTorch operator that somehow the uh, exporter has not yet supported. Um, so in this case, you can utilize this um, API to register a custom symbolic function. Um, so to tell like exporter basically how to uh, export it. Um, and of course you can uh, write it as either uh, export it um, as uh, standard Onyx ops or like any custom ops in a uh, custom domain. So next I want to talk about Onyx uh, local function. Um, so uh, I want to first introduce a little bit of the background and motivation. 
Um, a lot of times, uh, the common uh, complaints we receive is uh, for the uh, exported Onyx model is that the nodes are all flattened. So uh, in a sense, it does not like reflect the uh, hierarchical um, relationship between layers and modules. So uh, for instance, for this layer norm, um, since I think back then it was not a standard Onyx op, it was exported as a composition of uh, different nodes and they are uh, in some way sort of like flattened, uh, mixed up with other nodes in the Onyx model. So this makes it like visually uh, hard to uh, figure out what was what back in the PyTorch model. And um, it also, it's kind of hard sometimes for backend to do uh, fusion and optimization. So, uh, what this local function feature does is that now it allows you to specify a certain torch and a module class or um, this node has type function and the previously seen uh, subgraph or the composition of ops now are stored as the function body inside uh, the Onyx model locally. So this provides a means for backend to uh, still be able to run this uh, node or model uh, without like having a specified kernel. Okay, uh, mixed precision. So um, yeah, we support both Torch Autocast and uh, NVIDIA Apex MP. Um, there's no really like uh, extra step needed. You can uh, export the decorated model, um, as how you would with any regular model, and you would have the uh, cast nodes inserted. Okay, so let's talk about uh, and diagnosing uh, failures. So we want to improve and uh, improve that experience, and we want to provide more tools to uh, help make that process easier. Um, and of course, we will keep on uh, focusing the support of more and more models export out of the box. Okay, so uh, to wrap up, these are a handful of useful links. There are links to um, documents of uh, different components. There are links to useful tools and um, link to a place where you can file issue uh, that is related to um, exporter. So uh, thank you all for tuning in and I hope this talk is uh, helpful or interesting.